Today, we will listen to the story, Babu's Intelligence. It will increase our listening and speaking power. So please listen carefully. Babu lived in a village. He was a schoolboy. There was a canal on his way to school. An old bridge was over that canal. It was useful to one and all of villagers. Yet none cared for its repair. So one day it broke down and caused a good deal of hardship to the villagers. Babu was in difficulty. He could not cross the canal and go to school. The villagers were also in difficulty. They could not go to the town on the other side of the canal to sell their fruits and vegetables profitably. They sold their produce in the local market at a nominal price and bought the things of their daily use from there at a high rate. Babu was young in age but not in intelligence. He began thinking how to repair the bridge. If it was again made, the village how to repair the bridge. If it was again made, the village people would be relieved of their difficulty. Babu and his friends would be able to go to school again. Babu was in difficulty. He could not cross the canal and go to school. The villagers were also in difficulty. They could not go to the town on the other side of the canal to sell their fruits and vegetables profitably. They sold their produce in the local market at a nominal price and bought the things of their daily use from there at a high rate. Babu was young in age but not in intelligence. He began thinking how to repair the bridge. If it was again made, the village how to repair the bridge. If it was again made, the village people would be relieved of their difficulty. Babu and his friends would be able to go to school again. One day Babu saw a large beehive. It was hanging from a branch of a tree by the side of their pond. The bees were many in number, they were small in size but they were working together for the common cause. They were collecting honey from flower to flower and cooperating with one another in building a large hive. A nice idea flashed through Babu's mind. He thought that the villagers might be poor, but they could easily repair the bridge working all together. He explained it to the villagers. They understood what Babu had said. At last they came forward to repair the bridge. The villagers helped according to their ability. Some gave money, some supplied wood and some provided iron pegs and pins. The house who could not give anything, lent their labor. The bridge was made again in a few days. This relieved the villagers of their hardship. Babu was very glad at this. He went to school with all other boys of the village. The villagers went to the town. They sold their vegetables at a high price and bought the things of their daily use at a cheap rate. All praised Babu for his intelligence. You can practice again and again this story to improve your listening and speaking skills.